Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 158, I do believe. And we are here at the Cambridge Police Station to say hello to the folks in the Brotherhood of Steel. In the between time, I effected some repairs on our power armor and converted our rifle here from semi-automatic to fully automatic. So we can go say hello. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Hey, look. Paladin Dance. Good. You're back. Hey, look. Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Um... Okay, I won't let you down. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You oh. don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Is that bothering you? Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Uh-huh. Well, on the plus side, I do have a military background. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad victorium, knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Bridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Well... Not sure how well this is really going to work out. But let's talk to Dance. Paladin Dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Sure. Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. And who's Elder Maxon? Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride.
good 50 seconds worth of loading screen. I'm glad they got the Creation Club into Fallout 4 before worrying about things like that. Isn't everyone by definition a local? find them I could just you know we could turn this thing around and I can show you where they are Okay. Oh, trying not to hurt anything. Trying not to hurt anything. Um, is it supposed to do that? Showing up here in my uh, railroad armor, that's going to go over well, right? Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxim's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian. Captain. I can go with him, right? Alright, let's get the light on. Loading screen was instantaneous. That's crazy. Guessing for whatever reason the long ones are having a problem loading the outside world.
status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. Wait a minute. Now it wants me to go back where I just came from? <sighs> so I needed more loading screens in my loading screens. Okay, wait. Before I go... Shadow of Steel, speak to Lancer Captain Kells. Nope, nope, I didn't follow what's his name. Okay. So. Maxon's address is being held under command. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Hmm. I suppose looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What mission? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Sure. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address, after which Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. No questions. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome aboard. Elder Max. Brothers and sisters. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being this notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victoria! Ad Victoria! 
Ad Victorium. Who said that? No, Notice really. There, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. The duty shift was long, but I'm glad we're making a difference out here. Okay. Well, now what do we do? Speak to Elder Maxon. Okay. That would be you. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. So, what do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, You've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And oh, thanks. Befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Alrighty. Nod to you too. I, I should mention I've already killed the leader of the Institute and quite a great number of its people. So, where do we go from here? It keeps wanting to me... Why does it keep wanting me to go out? Oh. Click, click, let's get that stuff off. Yeah, now it's all gone. Why then? Support the Brotherhood Recon Team. Didn't we do that already? Okay. Hey, radio signals keep pinging the array. I'm gonna try to filter it out. Okay. So. Oh. Hi there. I don't really care about the people, but if they have cats. There's Dance. There. Try it now. Nothing. I think this one's ours. Since it's ours, we're taking the keys. I didn't really uh, think about this too much, so... You're the one who decided to kick little, uh... Got it. There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. Okay. Congratulations on the promotion. Hoorah. There's a vendor back here. Let's talk to him. Talk shop after you fully checked in with Elder Maxon and Paladin Dance. Mm. All right. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Well, shoulder pad, it went okay. Maxon's age? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else you're okay with that don't let his age fool you maxon's a brilliant tactician a formidable warrior and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the brotherhood i'd follow him anywhere without question uh-huh your confidence in maxon why are you so confident in his abilities a decade ago the brotherhood had almost gone completely astray the elder before maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere he was more concerned about charity than the preservation oh. of technology. But when Maxim took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. Uh-huh. Well, he's dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? 
I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Oh, you have no idea. Find a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I'll be careful. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Good, because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um, okay, let's Sounds go. Good. Let's go. Outstanding. Let's talk to Proctor Teagan. I bet he has some excellent mods for our power armor. Man, I already have power armor and, well, you know, I've also taken the fight to the Institute long before. Turn ahead and they'll stay dead. Advice to live by. Proctor. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Um, cage? Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now, this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Good to, know. Good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Okay. What kind of extra work? What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. Just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Can't talk right now. Okay. Well, I guess that was that. Um, is there anybody back here we need to pay attention to? I saw somebody with a, a flag on their head. Over here. Proctor Ingram. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Cool. Full plate. What does that mean? Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Wait. <laughs> Hell. I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Well, you seem to be getting around well. Actually... You seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Okay. Now, let's if see who else. Ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one to kick them off. Good for you, sunshine. There's two flags over here. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. 
Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Hmm. I guess we're going to see before the war? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Um... I... can't recall? Honestly, I don't remember. Well... You don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Um... That happens often? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Uh, no problem whatsoever. Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay. That was very exciting. Look at that dude staring, just kind of staring dejectively at that paper. Okay, guys. Make a hole. Ah, good. We're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Um, I think you're confused. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Well, I'm from the railroad, and I heard you did not pay for your ticket the last time you were aboard. Actually, I'm meeting the crew. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Technical documentation? What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Well, I could help. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay. And hi, kitty. Um, is that everybody? Meet with Elder Maxon. Okay, well, Dance, I guess we're going to meet your boss again. But, you know what? Now, let's, let's just get it wrapped up. I'm going to say we are pretty much at time, but... Okay, where did he... Why is he out there? Up the meter like 
worth the difference. Um. Okay, seriously. Are you on top of the world? With the crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Sure. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant film. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, Whoa. fully armed, and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong. And wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Okay, so I think we will save that for next time. Although I'm half tempted to go just switch armors in between episodes. Like leave this stuff back at base and come back and grab the T60. So I may do that, hard to say. And for the moment though. I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.